In Atlantic City, tension at the Taj Mahal has been kicked up a notch ever since a federal judge allowed its parent company to cut workers' pensions and benefits to save money. The enmity between owner Carl Icahn and Local 54 of the Casino Workers Union has escalated. And now, the workers have authorized a strike. Joining us from Atlantic City is Local 54 Unite Here spokesman Ben Begleiter, thank you for being with us, Mr. Begleiter. What led us to this point, 80% of workers voting to authorize a strike? Well, it's been a long process. There have been uh, a series of complaints issued by the National Labor Relations Board about unfair labor practices. And the, then, of course, there's the stripping of pension and, ben and health benefits and even paid lunch breaks from, from the workers that have led the workers to be incensed and that led to yesterday's vote uh, with a four to one margin. Even though a federal judge has okayed this? Well, that's under appeal at the moment, but even though a bankruptcy court judge approved it, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't exempt Trump from the, the responsibility of negotiating a fair contract with the workers. Workers have authorized a strike. What would it take for them to actually carry out a strike? Um, uh, uh, what would it take for them to carry out a strike? That's up to the negotiating committee. What they actually authorized was for the negotiating committee, which is comprised of about 65 members of the, the Taj Mahal, to if and when they determine that it's an appropriate time to, to call a strike. And that's that's what it would take. What benefits um, is the union fighting to reinstate for workers? I know it's pension, but also health benefits? Health benefits are, are the, the most important, I think, for, for our workforce. Um, they've, been, they've been stripped of those. And a recent survey that we did with the membership showed that 44% that of them don't have any medical insurance um, or didn't have it at the time we did the survey. And another 23% were relying on government subsidies to, to have health benefits. And this is, you know, the casino industry is different from other industries in that it's the only one that the citizens of this state voted on to allow. And they, they voted for, for it because there was a promise that there would be good jobs associated with casinos. Is there still hope for compromise with Carl Icahn? We're always hopeful. Um, our, our workers are very angry and ready to fight. Um, but we are, we're willing, you know, we're willing to, to sit and negotiate at any time. Okay, Ben Begleiter, thank you for being here. All right, thank you.